development matters, and about ecosystems, ecosystem <laughs> services, and the interlinkages. Now I would like to take you to Indaba province. This one, the um, right side on the top. Um, and I have some sad news for you, because the recent development in Indaba was not so good. We had a um, dry season, which was a lot longer than expected, and after that we had a short but really heavy wet seasons, and um, we had a lot of floodings, and even the uh, main water enterprise in Anku had to shut down for a couple of days. So the governor of Anku is quite uh, concerned, and that's why he invited the development committee for an extraordinary session. And he wants them to reflect on the um, actual five years um, development plan and the goals planted in this plan and revise them um, under the light of his current developments. He feels that there's something going wrong. And um, this development committee, um, which is, um, well, there's the Minister of Agriculture, of Economic Development and Trade. Of environment and like a typical development committee, and they actually decided to make a call for proposals because they feel they don't have the um, sufficient foundation for taking information on their issues. And they inviting consulting agency to to admit their proposals on how to revise these this uh, five-year development plan of the Indar region um, with regard to. Um, impact and dependencies on ecosystem services. And guess what? We're going to be consultant teams. So in doing this exercise, we will start uh, for the first time with group works. I will split you up in two groups. And you will get, like last time, you will get an information sheet with more information. Um, and you will get special tasks. And the idea is to discuss it in the group, to read first the exercise, to discuss it in the group, and then to um, try to get some results, um, which you will have to plan um, or present in plenary. And the idea is to make a really short statement and summary, because you have to convince the development committee to um, contract your company. So maybe you should, yes, um, mark for the technical arguments, but also think about how to convince them in a really good way to contract your company. So the idea is of this um, exercise, and that's actually where we start with um, step one and two of the um, stepwise approach. And remember, we will start defining the scope and setting the stage for our assessment, and then we will look at um, ecosystem services which are related to development um, goals or activities and try to prioritize them. So we will start this exercise is about step one and two. Um, I told you already, um, prioritizing is always difficult. We would like, as we are holistic thinkers, we would like to consider all and everything and all the complexity. But here's some um, yeah, criteria that might help you to, to prioritize. Uh, think about the level of dependency um, and or impacts of this development goals on ecosystem services, because some depend more, others depend less. Uh, think about um, the dependency and effects of other development goals. You will um, get some information on the development plan. And um, it's a typical development plan, and obviously it's not complete. There are others, other goals, for example, social equity, um, inclusion of, of the poorest, which are not directly stated in the, in the, five, in the development um, goals you will revise. So think about these issues as well. And also look on the um, yeah, dependency of other elements of human well-being. And we were talking about the indigenous community pretty briefly, and they obviously have different um, perceptions and behaviors. And uh, as I said, for example, cultural services are really important for them, so this could be also an additional criteria. We were split up in two working groups, and I would ask the first group to work. Um, it's differently stated in the in the handout. Just to work on tourism, biofuels, and cocoa. The 
these are three development goals, and you will get all the information in, in the handout. And the, and the second working group on water treatment plan, which is the idea is to build a new water treatment plan, um, thin and timber export. I would just ask you to count to one, one and two, and that's how we split up the groups. Maybe you could start. One. Yes, perfect. So um, help yourself, you can use these um, pin boards, they are quite heavy, you have to be careful. And uh, we have paper over there, I will attend you, and we have pens, we have cards. This uh, will help you to visualize your results. Um, where is it? The exercise is here. Maybe have that, you could help me. Um, you will get information on the development plan, on what the development community is actually thinking, and how to plan your proposal as the consultant team. Yeah, you can you can actually use the table and help yourself with the materials with the boards. So the outcome is the same. Uh, exactly, there's a matrix, and um, you don't have to use it. It's a proposal. If you have a better idea, you can do it differently. Exactly, you will have some mini presentations. So that means you should maybe um, identify, identify one facilitator in your group and one person who will present the results. And I would like you to meet back in plenary at 11.45, quarter to 12. Okay? Good luck.
Thank you. 